Hi guys and kaboom! Yes, welcome to the channel and do not adjust your eyeballs guys, that's right. This is my Legend League attack log and yes, we've got three attacks in a row. Three star attacks using a ground attack strategy guys, yes! So we're going to watch some replays in just a moment where I'll show you how to use this amazing attack strategy. Before we do, we're going to meet the army, we're going to have a look at the army composition, okay guys? And also a massive shout out to one of my clan mates, Tank. He was using this attack strategy and sharing his replays, so thank you so much and do remember as well guys the uh, attack strategy copy link will be in the video description so your army anyway is going to be four healers eight yetis five super wizards and two peckers spells are going to be four earthquake two rage and three free spells donated clan castle spells will be another rage spell and one poison spell to sprinkle on top guys yes uh, clan castle troops will be two yetis of alk and bob the barbarian and there we go guys the heroes and pet combination i normally like to go with the king and zach the yak the queen with the unicorn the royal champion with lassie and the grand warden with the electro owl and normally we're going to be using the log launcher or battle blimp there we go guys it's an amazing attack strategy let's jump into a replay now let's go so through the clouds we go, we're going to split the attack into different stages, guys, just to try and keep it as simple as possible. So town halls there, what, I want, what I'm going to do, there's two different sort of versions to this attack. I'm going to use the Grand Warden walk with the four healers. The replays after this are one of my clan mates, Tank, and what he does is he uses the, the healers on his queen and sends her into the base. Not a queen walk or queen charge, really, just with the rest of the troops, but those healers will help protect the queen so you can maximise how much damage she does as well. But anyway... I like using the Grand Warden myself. It's nice and safe. It's easy to use. You know, you can get so much value out of the Grand Warden. All you have to do really is just make sure you don't run out of time. Use a Rage Spell if you want to use the Grand Warden Walk. Help speed him up a little bit. He's going to take out that Multi Inferno. Then we're going to use four Earthquake Spells to the right of that, opening up the base. Yeti on the right uh, with a Super Wizard. That's the other side of the funnel. Then the rest of the troops there in the center. Now, what you need to do, remember, to get your Grand Warden to join the main army is you need to put a couple of troops, maybe the King or a couple of Yetis there, to within the Grand Warden's aura to drag him across to the main army. It's very important you do that. And then some of the healers might go and help other troops. That's great. Use the Grand Warden ability nice and early. Use another Rage spell to help them into the base quickly. Use that Poison spell on those super minions because, guys, they are so annoying. It's very important as well when you decide to send in your Royal Champion. Sort of look ahead. Don't rush. I always rush myself with the Royal Champion. Just You've got enough time. You know, if you if you don't send in your Royal Champion to later on in the battle, that's fine. Just don't make a mistake. Don't send her in against the enemy king, single target Infernos. You do have some free spells, but just be extra careful. She's so important. We're going to freeze that Town Hall, make sure we can do some damage. And the Royal Champion is now taking out that single target Inferno. Can she do it? If you can, guys, and this is difficult, try to keep your troops away from that Poison Bomb. Look how much damage it's doing. Anybody that walks through that will do very well to walk out the other side because uh, the poison bomb is just really, really nasty. The poor Royal Champion didn't have a chance there. She's gone, but luckily we've got enough troops left. I would say use the Grand Warden ability early. I wouldn't hold on to it until your troops reach the Town Hall because by then there's probably not many troops within the Grand Warden's ability and I don't think it's worth it as much. But anyway, uh, so this is one version of the attack. You're going to see Tank, who uh, shared these attack strategies, uh, his version in just a moment as well. So there we go. We're going to take out that Elixir store, Elixir Collector, sorry, three stars. Thank you very much. Thank you. So there's the first replay. Let's jump into our next one now. So here we go. So no messing around on this one, guys. Centralized Town Hall and uh, our attacker is just going to go for it in a moment. So where are we going to put those Earthquake spells there? Damage the base, open up the base, and then look, the Queen in the center... Four healers on her, but it isn't a queen walk or queen charge. Then Yeti's left, Yeti's right, super wizards. And they're going to funnel the queen into the base with the log launcher because on these centralized town hall bases, you need the queen to go towards the town hall, really. It doesn't really matter as much about the Yetis. They can do some damage on the outside. Log launcher's moving in as well. We need to take out that multi-inferno on the left. It's going to be close, but the king's been sent in now as well. The queen is being healed. That's perfect. Got some rage spells if we need to to help the queen. The royal champion has not been sent in yet. A pecker has on the right side. And now the queen is going to prove the difference. She's going to do a great job of taking out that town hall. Super minions again. Poison spell down. And uh, there we go. That's just sort of a different way of using it. Ensuring the queen sort of goes in the center of the attack. She's got some healers to help her. And yeah, some of the healers might go off and help other things. Uh, you know, other troops, squirrels. Steve the squirrel on the battlefield. Whatever, guys. But yeah. 
It's a different way of using it. I like the Grand Warden version myself, but this version I think is maybe a little more difficult um, to use, but I think it is, is better having those healers on your queen, to be honest. And it's quicker as well. With my version, you might run out of time. Um, but there we go. Raw Champion moving through the base. Sent in nice and late when it was safe to do so. Uh, that that multi-inferno over there, the Royal Champion should be able to take that out. King ability left. So centralized town hall bases at the moment are quite popular. Um, they were, weren't they, a long time ago. Then sort of the siege machines came in and they were easier to take out. And they've made a comeback now, I think, just because the town hall is so powerful um, or so much more powerful with that poison bomb. What do you think of the poison bomb, guys? Let me know in the video comments. Do you think it's too powerful, too OP or uh, just right? I think things were a bit too easy before, so I think it's just right. Or, may, or maybe not just right for me, because uh, I don't get too many three stars. We're going to speed it up a bit, guys. We're going to fast forward times two. And wouldn't it be nice if you could do that in real life? You know, uh, maybe having a bit of a boring day, um, you think, oh, let's times two it. Yeah, or you're having a great time. Let's uh, slow it down to times times 12. Half speed, yeah, that's me doing a slow motion voice. Sorry, guys, that was awful. Town hall in the center, which means it's a centralized town hall base. So, how are we going to attack this again? It's tank, and what is he going to do? Uh, we're just going to speed it up there. Four earthquake spells opening up the base, damage everywhere, and you've got to be careful, guys. Earthquake spells in real life can cause a lot of damage. My next door neighbor used four earthquake spells on the end of my garden and destroyed my garden shed. I said, why did you do that? And they said, I was just practicing my earthquake spells. Uh, I didn't mean to hit the edge of your shed. I'm very sorry. Uh, and I said, you broke my, uh, you know, my lawnmower was destroyed as well. It's not just the shed. There were things inside. Uh, lawnmower, strimmer, all destroyed by the earthquake spell, guys. Uh, so just be careful if you're ever practicing your earthquake spells in the garden. Just watch out for other people's property. That's all I'm going to say about it. Uh, so anyway, back to the action. Free spell on the right. Royal Champion moving through the base. The Queen uh, sent in there. And the Yeti saying, enough is enough. Is Yetis versus Yetis in the centre. Clan Castle Trillers. Poison spells everywhere. Uh, the Attacker is saying, there's a poison spell. How would you like that? And uh, the Queen is taking on the enemy Queen. Has she got her ability left? Yes. And that, look how slowly she's attacking because of the poison bomb there. And unfortunately, with these centralized town hall bases and ground attacks, your troops are going to walk through the poison bomb. Is it poison cloud? Poison But you Same thing, guys. So, actually, the field next to me, there's a town hall in the field next to me in real life. And I walked through there the other day, guys, and somebody had destroyed it. There was a poison bomb there. I walked through. It took me four hours, guys. Four hours. By the time I got to the other side, I'd lost a shoe. Uh, yeah, so just be careful out there. Watch out for poison bombs from town halls. They can be dangerous. Uh, there's a little super wizard over there, and it's going to be three stars again. Guys, do remember to hit that subscribe button and notification bell. Join the Samus army. We're over 100,000 subscribers at the moment, so thank you so much for your help and support. Um, I make these videos for you guys, and I really hope these sort of made simple attack strategies are helpful for you. You know, let me know if there's anything, any attack strategies you like to see. I know a lot of them at the moment are going to be air attacks, but they're the easiest attacks. So, you know, we've got to make those videos for the air attacks. I know not everybody is a fan of air attacks, but it's nice. Anyway, back to this. Sorry, it is nice to find a nice and easy to use ground attack. So there we go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video today. Uh, Samu signing out. Thanks to Tank for the replays. And I'll see you later, guys. Take care.